Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Underrail, shall we? Okay, so I'm going to take this particular scrap jet, crank it up, and go over here to explore. Or go up here, actually. That would be off the map, beyond where I've been. Probably have to do all of it. Oh, this, this jet has no power, so it's moving quite slowly. But I will get some more power on that one, hopefully. And let's just make sure... Oh yes, there's some people who are still alive. So let's go ahead and just premeditate a orb right there. We didn't hit this person, unfortunately. Now we did. Okay. So telekinetic punch does its thing. Oh, it looks like I accidentally used Lotus of Control. <laughs> Instead of, I pushed the wrong button. That's classic. Alright, there's a nice, well, semi-nice gun. Saw parts. It's all kinds of random crafting things. Oh, gosh. And and again, the weight. Uh, we have a bunch of things that are too heavy. So let's see if I have anything that is absolutely weighing me down. Some of these bullets, perhaps. Do, do, do. None of this looks super heavy. Uh, let's see, this is an electronic repair kit. I think my electronics are actually pretty reasonable. Do I have a mechanical repair kit? How is this doing? Let's just use this on our chest piece. That thing is heavy. Fantastic. Vehicle parts, what you got? Ah, scraps. Alright, we're going to save the game. We're going to roll over here. Hi! Hi! Technician, I'm sorry. It's... It's over. Okay. Let's see if they have anything fun in here. They have a computer rack with nothing. They have a locker that has some money and a grenade. I'm not even gonna... There's a lot of stuff I'm just not gonna take anymore. Money, sure. Big EMP grenade, sure. And that is a lighter. Well, that's a definite. And, ooh, there's vehicle repair kits. Fantastic. I guess they have to give you a way to get out of here. I'm going to stealth up and open this door and see if there's anybody out here. Well, there are. There's two people, in fact. So let me just pre-med a orb right there. Now, the orb isn't always the best for people who are uh, on boats, but there we go. Oh, oh, I didn't stun them. That surprised me. I thought I got them. I must have hit their vehicle. Yeah, sometimes you just have a chance to, like, hit their vehicle and not them, which is unfortunate. Okay, so it looks like he used some kind of healing item. Oh boy, I'm gonna bust up this guy's. Yep, just can't hit him. Just keep hitting his vehicle. Oh, he's running away too. That's fine. Go for it. All right, chemical pistol in my face. All right, here, take this. All right, here. Actually, take it like this. Uh, I still have to do that? Okay, fine. Oh, I missed. Oh, cryo orb. Well, I can't hit him with the... Uh... Yeah, it's one of those situations where you can't... I have to step forward. I can't even target, like, the front of his boat or the back of his boat. There's just no angle for me to hit him. 
Uh, how many action points do I have? 22? Wait. 60? Let's just throw a grenade at this guy then. This dude is living large. I can't kill this man. He's unkillable. Okay, can I hit you? Not, not like that. What about like that? No. It looks like everything I want to hit this guy with requires me to move forward. I can throw an EMP. It's not really... Oh, no, I can't even do that anymore? Yeah, I can do it like that. Here. Whatever. Maybe I can uh, plasma this guy. No. Even using plasma beam requires me to move. Okay. I'll just wait. Hopefully I won't be in ten no, he entangled me again. I basically have to wait for Cryo Orb and I can't miss. That's two misses in a row. It's times like this when you just really appreciate how the game likes to troll you. So I can't hit this guy with anything that I have because reasons. He can shoot me sitting on his jet ski. I can't target his jet ski or him with any of my abilities except AoE. And the AoE ability I have has missed two times. I have... A 100 or I have a adjusted 249 skill in metathermics and I can't figure out how to aim an orb it's a shame it's a shame so I guess I just I'll use a I'll use this and just stand here how oh, we got to heal himself again oh we're having a ball okay I can now do this and hit this guy no, I can't. I can't do that. But can I hit him with this? No. Or this? Actually, no. It's not... It's not about range. I'm just going to put up a force field then. And maybe I will become unstuck. And from there... I can get into a position where I can actually hit this guy. Like, if I'm over here, I think I can hit him. Oh, he's moving over to, to get to me. Alright, let's see if my orb will hit him. It did, but it didn't kill him. Oh, we did it. Jeez. That was a fascinating lesson in line of sight. But we won, which is all that matters, eventually. That guy has a good story to tell about how he stayed alive for a long time against me. Um, unfortunately, he... Oh, there's an old map. Let's go check this out. Fainted out headline, new home is featured on top of the map. Converging line seemingly from all directions come together at the same spot, marked with large red circle. Different marker colors and handwritings were employed in drawing this map. Some of the lines have started to fade out. Interesting. Red circle is drawn around a tiny outline facility which resembles this place. Huh. So maybe this is like where all the mutants moved. And because of the earthquake, it opened up. And I'm just walking through... And killing them all. I don't, you know, feel fantastic about that. What have I become? My sweetest friend. Alright, let's get on this. This guy has some good stuff, though. This is why he's the boss. He had this acid collector. He had this cool chemical thing for his pistol. Yeah, he was... 
He used all of his consumables, unfortunately. Let me see if it... Okay, there's two friends down here. Hey, three out of four misses with Cryo Orb. It never gets old, does it? I don't know what I'm rolling. Am I rolling a 1 out of 20? Like, do I have a 5% mischance on every roll with Cryo Orb? It needs fixed. I, I even premeditated. Like, if you premeditate it, it should be that you're focusing so hard on it that you, that you can't miss. Wow. I didn't hit... Okay, so I zapped this guy with electricity. It somehow didn't jump one tile to this. I've never seen uh, electrokinesis not jump when the targets are that close. And it hit his boat and not him. Had no effect on his the electricity of the boat itself. It, the idea that you're striking someone who's on the water in a watercraft with electricity and it doesn't do anything it, I mean I should probably be electrocuted by it in all honesty but anyway um, I'm going to get destroyed right here well he, he hit his buddy with the EMP at least alright Hey, we got him. Okay. So I'll go back here. There's just something a little off about the combat on the jet skis, but at the same time, it's fine. So this obviously couldn't have been added until the Black Sea Expedition DLC, right? Because they didn't have jet skis until that point, or were they always in the game? Man, this technician is really strong. Can't take this guy down. Okay, well, then, never mind, he's down. Okay, then. Ah, uh, cool. Take this, for sure. Take this. What's this? Oh, nice. All right, what you got? Wait, I didn't... Who... Oh, man, I didn't mean to do that. I was, I was trying to check your boat, not get on it, but... Interesting. Okay. Anyway. Uh, okay. What can I do here? Can I get on... What do you have? Oh, you have this. All right. And then you have this rifle barrel retractor. That's good. Sells for a ton. Um, let me see. This boat has no power. So I'll take this boat. This boat's about to explode, but at least it has electricity. Let me save it and see if I can move over here. I can. A uh, pile of junk. A huge pile of old jet ski components. Among them is a sizable set of license plates. Huh. I wonder what that's all about. The letters on the plates are quite hard to read. Some of them feature sequences such as N24NW315. I wonder if those are like directional coordinates. If those have any relevance to anything, or if I could use them to verify something. I don't know. So, uh, I pushed the button here, and I opened up a waterway here. But I can only get there if I go completely around. So I'm actually going to go deeper in this facility. I don't know if that's the right thing to do. Probably not. Let's check it. There's lights. There's, like, street lights. Oh, there's even more muties over here, huh? Interesting. Okay. 
That one's gone. Let me save it. This is a big ramp for all your off-roading needs. All right, let's see what you got. You have some nice grenades. I love this. What is this armor? Pig leather armor. Fantastic. Tabby boots. I do enjoy those. Oh, hello. Uh-oh. Uh, what is this? I'm suppressed. I think he incapacitated himself. Which, I'm sorry. Interesting. Alright, there's a muty slammer. Let's take down the slammer. Take that, slammer. And that, slammer. And while you're at it... I don't think I have enough to do that, actually. Um, but you can take this, slammer. So he's going to do a bunch of drugs, most likely. Oh, there's a... That's my mistake. I should have expected that. All right. And let's see. Uh, let me just take this person down. Okay. Oh, oh. Wait a minute now. This wasn't supposed to get this exciting. Okay. Uh, oh, I'm out of psionics because um, I don't have... I need to help Ether Aster this one. Oh! Whoa! Ow. Well, good thing I saved it. There's more enemies there than I expected. So I might try to look for a better approach because... Uh, that that was dicey. Like, <laughs> there wasn't much I could do there. They just all were able to get the drop on me. So I wonder if you can enter that facility, you know, in a different way. We're going to find out. Okay, so we know that there's some baddies around. Let's see. Where did you go? Did you swim away? traps everywhere. Oh, a spider. Oh, no! Okay. It's attacking from up there, which is tremendous. And let's see. Okay, well, we at least got it stunned. And I'm going to pre-med and blast it. I'm going to end my turn. Oh, there's a lot of other stuff going on, which is terrible. Okay, got it. Now I'm going to end combat. And... The reason that I'm going so slowly is because this speeder I'm on is uh, been drained of batteries. So that's a diabolical twist. Do those spiders shut down your... Oh, oh god. Now well, this guy might just kill me. Yep, yeah. okay. So, hilarious. Okay. <laughs> so what I need to do is make sure that that dude is on my screen so I can fight him before I get embroiled with that spider. So let's do that. Let me just heal myself. Okay, so he went down this way. All right, there we go. Got, got the drop on him. I'm just going to put this on him here. Oh, no. Come on now. Hit him. And we're not really hitting him. Okay, I'm going to pre-med... Uh, a telly punch on him. That's that'll do. Okay. So then let me save the game now. And let me go in here and we'll huff ether. And the plan from here then is to uh, save it and take out the spider. Oh, I can't see it, though. I'm gonna wait. It's in this hole, I think. And it doesn't come out for a second. 
or we'll find out. Okay. So we got tri we got hit, but luckily Locus of Control, best ability in the game, has provides an opportunity for me to escape this ridiculousness somewhat unscathed. All right, we're going to end combat. And we'll take the fact that we got hit by the trap, but luckily he didn't get to unleash his devastating attack on us and drain the batteries. Okay. So we're going to go down here. Now this is where we might want to get in. Oh, that's right. We did get in and we got annihilated. Right, right, right. So we're going to try to find a better place to get in here. Yet. Yeah. Oh, God. There's a group. Well, that's not working like it's supposed to. All right. Now, again, I don't know if it's because the durability on my boat is bad or if they're just one-shotting me because I have no shield. And, yeah. I mean, my health is low. Yeah, I think they're blowing up my cruiser. So let me switch over to this guy's boat. Yeah, this boat's way better. Um, and we'll take it. Let me look what's inside. I'm going to take these out and this out. Even that. Yeah, give me all that. That's great. I'm going to save it. And then I'm going to look at... Is there anything in this boat that's good? Yeah, like a gun, maybe. Okay. So now that we have it saved, let me see if I can get around without just getting blown away one shot by these guys. All right, so I know there's dudes over here, so let's kind of just slowly inch down until we can see these guys. Here they are. All right, I'm going to enter combat. I'm going to drop an uh, orb right here. This is kind of... We've missed with an orb. Is anyone surprised? No. We did get that guy stunned, though, which is tremendous. And I have enough to do that. Okay, great. So as long as nobody joins in the fun. All right, we have second wind guy and this guy. Okay. So I think all I need to do here is just hope I hit. I didn't. Hit him. There we go. One guy dead. And then... What are we light on? Action points? Yeah. Alright. So we need to just run away. This guy will heal. Undoubtedly. And he tried to flashbang me, but luckily we resisted. And we'll hit him with this. Or attempt to. Okay, so one of the shots got him. And we'll run... Okay, and we're going to just try to get him with this. It didn't work. Can we telepunch? Great. So telepunch seems like it never hits their jet. Like it'll always hit them. Or at least come close enough. And we'll take it. I need to get off this boat as fast as possible. My character is so bad on top of one of these things. Oh, wrong thing. I keep meaning to search this, not jump over like that. Okay. And let's see, what do we got? What do we got? We have wreckage. Uh, nothing too great. What do we got? Okay, well, I will take a flashbang. And this is a ramp for us to jump on. Wow, what a weird area. I'm going to save it. And now I'm going to go in here. I'm going to disembark. And I'm going to look at my character. Yeah, we need grenades all the way through. So, what grenades do we want? How about some of these massive frag grenades? Just try them out. And honestly, I think we would rather have uh, plasma grenades than EMPs right now, considering we're fighting living targets that don't care about the EMP. Alright, I'm gonna stealth and see what we can do. Alright, so here's some people. Alright, so let me go around this way. I want to fight these guys, like, you know, one at a time, if possible, but I don't know how realistic that is. I'm going to telepunch this guy. He's dazed. 
but not stunned. So I'm going to have to kind of improvise on this guy and then run back here. This guy will probably... Actually, does he automatically... Yeah, he sees me. But he didn't get to shoot me. All right, so that's good. Okay, so I'm going to do this. All right, we had it bounce around a little bit. And let's see. The technician's been struck. Let me try to hit the technician. Okay, he's dead. Much better. And we'll just walk over here. I think there's one more guy. Yeah, there is. Oh, there's even more than that. There's, like, somebody shooting at me with a laser gun. Luckily, it's another technician. My stuff is great against this. So let's try the big grenade, first of all. I only hit one of them, and that's ridiculously bad, but... All right, we got this guy stunned, and that guy's dead. And then I'm going to just kind of kind of run out here and try to get out of their line of sight. The, the stunned guy should block... Uh, wow, I thought he was going to block that guy being able to hit me, but it didn't work that way at all. I'm going to step around the corner, and I'm going to use a healing item and use that. Probably didn't need to. And I'm actually going to... I don't want them to come around and get to drop on me, so I'm going to put this right here. And just let them walk into my line of sight eventually. Okay. Save some action points, and here they come. All right, so here's the sharpshooter. This guy we absolutely have to take down. All right, he's stunned. He's dead. Now let's try to find the other guy. There he is. Um, I'm just going to pre-med. I'm going to do... Let me look at you. I'm going to do this. To... God, I, I, I need to... Um, I'm going to right-click on this guy. Okay. Or girl. Uh, I just want to make sure I can stun them. So that I don't have any, any mistakes. There we go. And that's it. And that's called a thing of beauty. Okay. All right, great. We'll take this. And sure, let me recharge my shield. I'm going to go stealth. I've already saved it. Let's just kind of look around. This place was really, really well protected. If there's a boss, it's probably in here. I mean, but I don't know. Hey, hey. Quite a valuable find. All right, let's check in. What's in your main room? Plasma cell. Okay, desk. Okay, we got some repair kits. Patching kit. Vehicle repair kit, okay. And a incendiary collector. All right, and a computer. Biocore Industries. Oh, it's a Biocore facility. Warning, fire hazard event occurred in Section B initiated lockdown. Input the security code for particular hazardous event in order to reopen the gates to the Section B Event type fire level one. I love this. Look at these options for password. Um, we're going to call it uh, open up. How about biocore? One, two, three, four. Password leave. All right. I can probably find it written down somewhere. Maybe. Let's look. That is a spear shaft and a laminated fabric ballistic panel. How about that? Alright. I'm not finding the password immediately. Kind of looking for it here. Alright. 
Nothing like picking the lock to find lock picks. How about it? Okay. Mutie Slammer. Slammer, where you at? There you are. I'll take those, Slammer. And there's nothing. And it's embarrassing. And we've got nothing. Alright, well, I want to get over here, but it looks like I'm not going to be able to. It looks like I need the password and I haven't found it yet. If it's even possible to find it. Alright, a bunch of shotgun crafting parts. Gun crafting parts. Uh, okay. I thought maybe that little tile right there would do something. The one that's outlined like that, but I couldn't interact with it. Maybe if I had more perception. I'm not sure how that exactly works. Oh, here's a junk pile. Oh, wow. There's no, uh... There's no oddity there. Generally, there is an oddity in something like that. Alright, I'm going to search around. And... Uh, looks like... Oh, if I'm not using this, my strength goes down and I can't carry what I'm carrying. Okay. Alright. Well, we looped around here. There's more facility up here to explore. And then there's also some ramps to jump across. So... I want to try to get in here, if possible. It's a BioCore facility. That seems pretty interesting. And we're going to get into that next time. Everyone, this is a good place to stop. I want to say thank you so much for watching. We're making some progress. This is actually a really hard section of the game, uh, and it's interesting to explore it. I hope you all have an excellent evening or day, and I'll check you next time. Take care.